Hi, I'm Nathan Tannenbaum. These are just some of the stories coming soon to the Las Vegas Review Journal. Coming up on Friday, the Clark County School District goes before something called the Clark County Debt Service Commission to talk about their plans for $249 million in construction bonds. The district has already said no taxpayer dollars would be obligated to pay for the debt. Review Journal education writer Jim Haug is looking not only at the bond proposal, but also at the Debt Commission, who serves on it, and what does it do? Members of the SEIU, the Service Employees International Union, marched outside the Clark County Government Center Monday urging commissioners to fund social service programs cut in the wake of the 2009 session of the state legislature. Tuesday, the union expected to go into greater detail in front of the commissioners during their regular weekly meeting. After first appearing on the Review Journal website's breaking news section, Wednesday's paper will have a detailed breakdown. Steve wins in the news on a couple of different fronts. First appearing on the RJ's Inside Gaming blog, Howard Stutz reported the sale of some $114 million worth of Wynn stock by Steve and Elaine Wynn in what the company said was a move to <clears throat> provide liquidity in anticipation of a change in their marital status. In other words, they're getting some cash ahead of their pending divorce. More in Wednesday's print and online RJ. Also Tuesday, the Nevada Labor Commission agenda included the ongoing case of Mr. Wynn and the pooling of worker tips at his resorts. Some employees upset about a new policy instituted more than a year ago. Business writer Arnold M. Knightley following the story. Well, that's enough news. I, I don't know about you. I'm hungry. Good thing the weekly Wednesday taste section's coming around with gastronomic guru Heidi Napranella turning her gaze this week to panini which, if you're not sure, it's basically just a fancy word for an expensive, expensive sandwich. But Heidi's got lots more for you to chew on. And if you have never checked out Heidi's other regular Wednesday taste feature, you ought to. Kind of like a, a community bulletin board meeting an obscure food swap meet, where readers who ask how to find whatever brand of sauce or supposedly unavailable favorite food from back home get answers from other readers who know just where that whatever it is is. Almost as much fun as looking at the tiny print on the back of the sports pages for wacky names at the horse races. And before we get to the weekend weather, how about a sneak peek at what's hot? Doug Elfman, what's the entertainment gang yakking about this week? Coming up on Vegas Land Video, we got your whole weekend planner, which includes Depeche Mode, one of my favorites, Marilyn Manson's in town, Green Day, Franz Ferdinand, Richard Cheese and Lounge Against the Machine doing a goodbye show here in Vegas. That's one of the best uh, local performers. Uh, Quentin, Quentin Tarantino's movie is finally opening. I've been waiting for that for about 12 years. And Heidi Napranella is going to tell us all about many, many happy hours around town where you can get uh, good, cheap food and booze. So check it out, Vegas Land Video. Thank you, sir. The weekly What's Hot video is up next on the Multimedia Page Player, while also easily clickable from the ReviewJournal.com homepage, where you get the whole ball of wax as Doug chats with the RJ's entertainment crew, music writer Jason Braceland, entertainment writer Mike Weatherford, movie maven Carol Kling, and the aforementioned Heidi Napranella, who, despite appearances, does not really live in a conference room speakerphone. Now the weather. As the normal to above normal heat continues over the desert southwest, the long range forecast is looking upstream at numerous storm systems swirling out in the Pacific. Although chances for weekend rain are not expected from those bad boys, but rather, as my friends at the National Weather Service have so nicely explained in this picture from their website, it's the classic summer storm setup with an area of low pressure off the southwest coast, high pressure over the four corners, acting like a steering wheel directing moisture into your backyard. Until then, daytime highs will be in the neighborhood of 105, overnight lows around 80. For breaking news 24-7, you're at the right spot, ReviewJournal.com.